So recently I went to a local pet, pet store called uh, Pets Plus where they have both reptiles and um, fish. It was pretty nice, you know, I've gone there a couple times before and they typically have larger fish than um, a larger selection than some of the local places here. It's about an hour drive for me, even though we have a ton of places uh, locally. They tend to have, um, for some reason, a much larger, not a larger selection, but larger specimens. Um, like in this tank, you can see they've got a true parrot there, which is just, he's a good size. He's at least seven, eight inches and a couple other fish in there. And the prices aren't bad either. So, um, you know, they've got some geos in there and some severums, uh, a couple of small catfish, but overall they had a pretty good selection. I mean, you can see these Oscars are all at least eight inches, which is not close to full size, but definitely pretty big. You're not getting um, your normal small juvies or fry. Um, you've got some parrots in here. A um, couple of arowanas up there as well. Once again, all in a good size. Um, the place was pretty packed, um, so you can hear us kind of talking in the background. Um, overall, it wasn't bad. I really liked some of the prices, and I definitely like some of uh, some of the selection. It's hard sometimes when you have bigger fish in your tank. You can't necessarily always go buy small small fish sometimes you need something at least five inches or bigger that won't get won't get eaten although they do have a nice selection of small fish too if you were looking to just raise them up from being small juvies you know a lot of parrots once again some parrots um, some pretty vibrant colors on the parrots I've never been a big parrot fan but um, they definitely had a nice selection um, the tanks weren't bad you know uh, the place gets a bad rap from time to time. Uh, I see they got a large African cichlid in there as well. Um, don't know the scientific name, so if anybody knows, you know, shout it out. Some feeder fish. This tank was interesting. You know, they had some painted river turtles in this tank, um, which is cool. And they had those for one ninety nine. I thought about even purchasing one, um, but th they they have a lot of very large fish in this tank. Uh, the camera isn't doing it any justice at all. I mean, most of these fish, I don't think there's any fish in here that's under 10 inches. Uh, if you look through that hole there, you'll see uh, behind the frontosa, you'll see a very large black belt cichlid. That cichlid had to be at least 24 inches. I mean, he's huge and not just in length, but his girth you know how wide how tall he is is insane i've never seen a black belt that big and i, I tried to put my hand up there for comparison it just doesn't help at all it just <laughs> it just doesn't work he is absolutely huge and the tank is in the air so i couldn't really you know uh, get in an angle that would allow me to show him so i made my way to another section of the store um even though you know i like fish I, I also like reptiles i've had quite a few over the years um i don't have any currently i do have some reptile tanks that are empty that i may be filling but they had um quite a few uh reptiles here i mean they have a huge reptile section so you definitely got to walk back there and take a look um they used to have a small alligator but uh, i guess they don't have it anymore maybe it outgrew its enclosure they have a really big enclosure but i mean it's not big enough for a full grown alligator maybe something four feet but once past that forget it um the place was pretty crowded some once again they do a good job of having not just juveniles but all different size types which is always good everybody doesn't want juveniles um, I'm back at this section they have some live rock here some uh, some goldfish some koi um, all types of goldfish so they they're carrying the full gambit you know koi fancy goldfish live rock tanks lots of uh, of wood lots of driftwood uh, spider spider wood everything um, this tank here is always you know 
brings back nostalgia for me because this tank used to sit long ago when Pets, PetSmart first opened. They had uh, these big tanks. I don't know if they had them all over the country, but here where I live, they had uh, this big tank in PetSmart back in the day. And now they've got some uh, some puffers in there and some some dove eyes in there and some they got a lot of stuff in here um, and these fish are big once again the whole hand comparison thing just doesn't work because the water distorts and it just doesn't work but it's the best that I could give you these guys were pretty big um, some nice plecos I mean it's just this would be a great tank to have in the house um, I think it's all acrylic but you know it could be it could definitely look better <laughs> They've got, uh, you know, some large fish in there, though. It's a great looking, uh, good looking tank. I took a step back and tried to get the whole thing in frame. They've got uh, lots, lots of tanks for sale. The prices weren't too bad. And as I said, uh, they carry a little of everything. So this is the saltwater section. These eels are really a good size. Uh, once again, hard to tell on camera. That lionfish has got to be at least 17 inches I think it's full grown I don't think they get much bigger than that but that thing is huge um, I estimate to be about you know a little more than 15 got to be about 16 17 inches some African cichlids I'm sorry yeah they did have some African cichlids over here with the salt water which was I guess interesting I guess kind of like a comparison um, they also had uh, you know quite a few clownfish and it just was uh, it's a it's a nice place you can get lost in here for quite some time just looking around I mean they have a bird section with lots of interesting birds but I'm a, I'm a fish guy so I had to go and take a look now something that came out of this that uh, actually ended up being a good thing is the fact that I was able to find quite a few fish at a good price so as you can see here, I, I bought um, these electric blue Acara for about $5 a piece. And in the area that I'm in currently, you're going to pay $17 for this size and $25 to $30 for larger. So for $25, bucks, I picked up five, five small blue Acara, which I'm hoping I can grow out. And maybe hopefully there's a male and a female in there and uh, maybe a little breeding happen since they are prolific breeders so I was able to make out pretty good in that respect and you know you just can't beat that and they look pretty good you know they're not uh, th their bodies aren't s those stubby bodies you know they've got uh, nice elongated bodies they look they look pretty good you can sometimes pick up really bad fry the other thing I was able to pick up was this small fire eel um, once again around here they are even at this size expensive this guy was only 20 bucks when I see him for about 60 maybe 50 on the low end so I made out pretty good only problem with this guy is he only wants to eat ghost shrimp now the store I got him from swore that he was eating much better than this that he was eating blood worms I'm using a baster and trying to give him blood worms he don't want them so all in all I think I made out we'll update you on the fire eel take care everybody